everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. Here's a topic we don't cover very often, swearing. What makes swearing just so darn satisfying? And we're not talking about the less offensive synonyms like fiddlesticks and darn it. We're talking about <laughs> swearing. Bear with us, there's science involved in this, I swear. By the late 90s, researchers discovered that the amygdala, which is responsible for processing emotion and memory in the brain, is highly active when exposed to swear words. The amygdala is connected to the memory function of your brain, so repetition decreases activity. That means the more you've heard swear words growing up, the less shocking the words are when you hear them in social circles. The potency of the curse tends to get diluted the more you use it, so make sure you save for when you really need them. According to a philosophy professor from the University of London, cursing conveys a number of emotions, happiness, stress, fear, surprise, anger, desperation, and pain. So for example, dropping the F-bomb when you stub your toe isn't just a reflex, it's also a way to alleviate pain. Researchers tested this theory by having college students keep their hands immersed in cold water and comparing that time to how many swear words they dished out. When the students yelled out they reported less pain than those students who weren't allowed to say those words and they also kept in their hands in cold water longer than those students who weren't allowed to curse. So the science of swearing is there, but you can't always use that as an excuse. Freedom of speech does not protect against something called unprotected speech, which can be things like and all of those are example of language bearing power to inflict harm on somebody else. And we all know harming others is illegal. So you can't just yell out in a business meeting. Well, you could, but you'd have to bleep yourself out like I just did. And you can't do that in real life. Speaking of bleeping, you think I have a potty mouth, don't you? Well, the truth is I've been randomly bleeping myself out to make you think that I'm saying foul words when in fact I'm not. But truth is, there may also be science behind the fact that bleeping out certain words could evoke the same response as swearing. Take a look. The of the curse tends to get diluted the more you use it, so make sure you save all of your bad words for when you really need them. For when you really need them. When the students yelled out they reported less pain than those students who weren't allowed to say those words. When the students yelled out real foul words, they reported less pain than those students who weren't allowed to say those words. Freedom of speech does not protect against something called unprotected speech, which can be things like which can be things like libel, slander, and obscenities. Even though I didn't say anything bad, you thought I did. Well, did that make the message stronger? Let us know by commenting on our YouTube channel and on our website, acsh.org. Don't forget, while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.